What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are doing a review on the Saints Magic Pirate is OP. And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to support the Superfina channel, there is Patreon and channel membership. Links to those will be available in the description. We are reviewing the Saints Magic Pirate is OP episode 4, Miracle. This is the episode where it clarifies that today is the Saints. Because if you remember, there were two people who got summoned. Prince Kyle thought that the Saint was the other girl who got summoned. And then we have our protagonist say she has some cheat skills when she makes potions is 1.5 times stronger when she cooks it gives people buffs and she can enchant as much as she can and to beyond the limits like say has to be the saint right in the beginning of the episode we see the person in charge of the magic assembly and then we have johan the director of the research institute with the king and they're looking at the focus that they worked on to have all these buffs increase magical defense increase physical defense and resist all status ailments this is the best enchanted focus ever and the king even says an item of legendary power in my reaction the link to that will be over here i said this could be a national treasure and the king just said it's an item of legendary power it's a national treasure this is like oh my gosh people would probably go into war to get this item anyways basically what this scene is talking about is the king wanted to look into say and see if she's a real saint and he had the guy who's in charge of the magi assembly to look into it and he did. He got say to enchant all these focus, do different types of enchantments, see what levels of enchantments she can do, and she surpassed all of it. And he's like, "Yeah, she's she's powerful." And the king's asking, "Like, well, is she the saint?" And he, the other guy, said, "Well, we can't tell. I can't appraise her. There's only one person who can appraise her, and it's the grand mages, and he's sleeping right now." And they show like a cut scene of him or what he looks like. And in the anime, they're like hiding his face because he's not revealed yet. He hasn't been <laughs> revealed. So they're hiding the face, but they're showing what he looks like. He's got like a blue theme going on, blue purple theme. He looks kind of mysterious, kind of looks like a dark mage, but we know he's not. Anyways, that scene ends and we go to Say. She is delivering potions to the Third Order and she runs into some of the knights. And I was really excited for this because in the episode where they reveal about her cooking stuff, I didn't see that much of the knights. But in this episode, I am. And I like them. I'm like, yes, show them. Show the people who work hard for the kingdom. <laughs> And they tell her that they're preparing for an expedition with the second order. And they're going to go into the, the forest that had the salamander where Albert got hurt. And that they're going to need more potions for that. And then Say as, is asking about the first order. And they're like, um, she's like, what, what about the first order? Like, am I not supposed to ask about them? And they explain that the first order is with Prince Kyle. And Prince Kyle is out training with the girl that he thinks is a saint. So they talk about that. And then they look at Stay and they're like, We think you're more like a saint than the other girl. She's like, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And she's thinking, Probably because I am the saint. <laughs> so again, we're going back to the topic that she may be the saint. Like people think that she is, they already see her as one. Even though there is like a royal person saying it's another person. After that scene, it's Say and she's having like a monologue going on. Talking about how she could be the saint. It's most likely she's the saint because she has like all these cheat codes and whatnot. But she doesn't want people to know she's a saint because she wants to have like a low profile. She just wants to be an ordinary person 
have a carefree life because before she was summoned, she worked a lot. She was a workaholic. And in this world, she's cruising. She's doing everything that's like a hobby to her. Like even though she's working hard, making the potions, cooking, making those enchantments. These are hobbies for her. She's enjoying it and she's just cruising through it. But if she officially becomes a saint, then she has the responsibility of that title. She's going to have to go on those expeditions, get into danger. She has to clear out the bad energy. So there's peace in the kingdom. And that's not a cruise life. Next scene, we see Say at the library. And she's looking for books about magic. And one caught her eye. It was the Holy Affinity Magic. She looks through it and she's like, this is way too complicated. Then walks in the guy who has red hair. It's the king, y'all. It's him. And he helps her. He finds her a more simpler book. And he reveals he's the king. And he apologizes for how his son, Prince Kyle, was so rude to her, which he was. Prince Kyle's a punk. I said in my reaction, Prince Kyle is a punk. And the king wants to reward her. She's like, no, 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 no. And uh, the king reveals that he talks to Johan about it. And Johan was like, yeah, she's not going to want these rewards. That's not how she is. And the king's like, Johan knows you. And I'm thinking, you bet Johan knows her. They has really good relationships with the people he's encountered. They're friends. But what I want to talk about in this scene is I think the king wanted to push the whole holy affinity magic on her to clarify if she's the saint or not. Like, he needs more proof that she's the saint. Not only is she good with the potions, the cooking, the enchantment, but one more thing, one more thing that saints are really good at is healing. Saints are really good at purifying and healing. So, I think he schemed, like, small kind schemed for her to know about a holy magic, see how she excels in it to confirm if she's the saint or not. And we know we're going to see Say using holy magic because the next major scene is at a hospital. Say's visiting the knights from the Third Order. They just came back from an expedition. She's visiting them. And some of them have fatal wounds. One of the knights that she talked to from previous scenes is missing an arm. And he is distraught because no one can heal him. No one's high enough with healing magic to heal that. And he's going to have to go home. This scene I like because there's some world building. Apparently, he's a commoner. And he went to the academy. And he was able to become a knight because he worked through the academy. He leveled up, ranked up. He worked hard. And now he became a knight. And now he has to stop being a knight. Because he can't be a knight with just one arm. He needs both arms. And since he can't be a knight, he has to go home. And oh, it was so sad. There's like a scene where he does this habit of like rubbing the back of his head. And he couldn't do that because the arm that was missing his hand was his dominant side. So he's like, oh, and went to the other. I was like, oh, poor thing you. So Say is in a tough position. She knows that. Whatever she does is like 1.5 times stronger and she knows she can heal but she doesn't want to reveal that she's a saint but she wants to help him and there's a scene where she makes her resolve. She has a resolve to like help him out. She's like, if you could get your arm back, would you want it? And he's like, what? And she heals him and this is a nice theme. Normally, when I see scenes with healing, it's just like a burst of light and then ta-da! But no, this one, it shows like the anatomy. It shows like the bone and then the flesh and then the skin. We gradually see this healing. And when Say is healing this night, it's in a room with others. So everybody else saw it. So she's like, okay, I'll heal everybody else. Bring it. Let's do this. After she's done healing all the major injuries, She's like, okay, anybody else? And they're like, oh, it's just minor ones. She's like, oh, well, it's just minor ones. How about we just do the area magic, okay? She does an AoE. And it's beautiful. We see the scene in the trailer. And it's magical. There's light. It looks holy. And she just reveals that she does 
OP magic stuff. Like, oh, say, you totally blew your cover. Yeah, you're definitely the saint. Let me see Albert and Johan. They're like, yeah, so you always go beyond our expectations as usual, huh? And she's like, uh huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And this is where Yon's like, oh, so you're, you're ready to come out. You're ready to let people know that you might be the saint. You can totally tell that's where his stance is. He doesn't say it exactly, but you can tell. And then we have Say, who's like, yeah, mm -hmm, I can do all this stuff. And there's this part where Johan hugs her and she says, I'm sorry. And I'm wondering why are you saying sorry? Are you saying sorry because you're revealing everything? Are you saying sorry that you kept it to yourself? Sorry that she didn't step up saying that she's a saint to help others earlier. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But yeah, this episode was definitely about Say being a saint. I mean, the episode's title was Miracle and Say performed it. She performed holy magic and regrew someone's arm. Hey, like, come on! Only people with high level of holy magic or the saint can do that! There was build up to that miracle from the scene with the king and the other two speculating if Say is the saint to the knights talking about the other girl who got summoned, whether or not she's a saint, and Say seeming to be more likely to be the saint to Say talking to herself talking about yeah i think i'm the saint and not the other girl to this high level holy magic of a miracle healing everybody say my girl you're definitely the saint especially after this performance of holy magic but it's not going to be official until the grand mages appraises you and that probably won't happen until the next episode and that was my review of The Saint's Magic Power is OP Episode 4, Miracle. What do you think about that episode? What do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash lehulosuperfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is available in the description. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this was the Superfina channel reviewing The Saints of Magic Power is OP episode 4, Miracle. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video and i do stream live on twitch every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays hope to see you guys there and i will see you on the next video this bump